What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. Today, me and Shove are going to teach you some beginner tricks that you can do on the ramp. So we are going to teach you how to roll into a two-footed toe stop stall. We're gonna teach you how to jump into a two-footed toe stop stall, how to do a Maryland toe stop stall, a flamingo toe stop stall, and last but not least, how to do a baby jump on the transition. So let's go. I'm Courtney Shove, aka Fat Girl Has Moxie. Just wanted to do a little bit of a disclaimer. I know I'm not wearing a helmet today, uh, but as you know in the video that Rebel and I did earlier, we talk about the importance of safety gear and wearing it when you feel like you need it. So I love to have my wrist guards because that's where I catch myself. And I do have knee pads on. These are my Lux Armor soft knee pads. So I can still look cute and safe. I'm not gonna be doing anything drastic today, so that's why I feel very confident in just wearing the bare minimum of safety gear. But again, if you are starting, definitely wear your helmet. So the way I do a lot of these toe stop tricks that are for beginners are gonna be a little bit modified. I am a bigger girl, obviously. Also, I'm not as flexible. So you'll see Rebel grabbing her skate or lifting up a little higher than I can because I'm still learning. I'm a little more beginner than her. You will see both me and Shove completing the same trick. And that's because we're at different levels and we do modified versions of the tricks. One thing to know when you're going into ramp skating is that there is no one single correct way to do any trick. There are just ways that we prefer to do tricks and ways that will be less likely to get you hurt. <laughs> so what we're gonna show you today is our versions of these tricks and hopefully they can help you. Now the first thing that you need to know how to do before going into these tricks is you need to know how to pump. If you don't know how to pump, go back, learn how to pump, and then come back to this video and we can start learning these tricks. In any of these tricks, it is very important, moving on to the ramp now, that you are approaching the trick with your legs staggered. You wanna make sure that your knees are bent and you wanna sh make sure that you are preparing yourself mentally to go into this trick. So, the first trick is rolling onto your toe stops. You're already pumping, so I'm gonna get into a pumping. Then you're going to be bending your knees and staggering them. And then when you get to zero gravity, which is the highest place on the ramp that you are reaching with your pump, then you are just going to gently put your toe stops down. And then you're going to bend your knees and kind of thrust your weight forward as you are in that toe stop stall. And once you are done with your toe stop stall, then you're going to just put all eight of your wheels back down onto the transition and roll out of the trick. Once you are comfortable with pumping up and then rolling into that toe stop stall and coming back down, now you're going to learn how to jump into that two-footed toe stop stall. So like all of the toe stop stalls, you are going to pump into it. And then once you get to zero gravity, instead of just rolling onto your toe stops, you are going to jump and land on your toe stops. Once you've jumped and landed on your toe stops, you're again not going to have your weight back. You're gonna have your weight forward. So you're kind of thrusting your hips forward. You're shifting your weight. Your feet are usually staggered. And then when you jump out of it, you are going to bend your knees, jump, land on all eight wheels, and then you are going to bend your knees, be staggered in order to roll out of it. Now that you understand how to two-footed stall, we're gonna talk about one-footed toe stop stalls. Now, a one-footed toe stop stall, what's different is you are going to be going from two feet pumping into balancing on that one front foot, and you are going to need to shift your weight onto that front foot so you have the freedom to move this back foot without falling backwards. So in order to do that, you again need to make sure that your feet are staggered going into it, that your knees are bent, and then at the last minute at zero gravity, you are going to shift your weight forward onto that front foot and put your toe stop down, and then you're going to lift your back leg up, and you're actually going to make what kind of looks like a four you're gonna put your back foot behind the knee of your front foot. And then if you want to be a little bit more advanced, you can 
grab with your opposite arm from your leg. You can grab that back skate and you can also put your hand up into the air. So the ideal position when you're doing a Maryland stall would look like this. So when you're coming out of a one-footed stall, it's important to realize that you're shifting your weight again back from one foot onto both feet. So you're probably going to put this back foot down first and then go down with your front foot. And as long as you stay staggered, as long as you stay bent, then you should be just fine. Additionally, make sure that you recognize that it's going to be a tendency for you to want to, instead of landing flat footed, you're going to want to land on your toe stops and that's super normal, but you wanna to try to move away from that. So you wanna try and land on all four of your wheels because that is the most stable. The next one that we're gonna learn is the Flamingo stall. And like the Maryland stall, you are going to be approaching the transition having pumped. And then you are going to shift your weight onto that front foot. You're gonna put that down at a toe stop. And then you're gonna bring your other foot up and you're gonna kick up your knee in the front so that you look like a flamingo. Sometimes I like hitting my knee to see how high I'm getting. Sometimes I just kind of put up my knee and give it a little flare. You can do whatever you want. Um, and also a flamingo doesn't always get all the way up to the front. Sometimes a flamingo is just like a little kick up with your knee. So it's going to look different for different people. Again, you're landing the same way you've landed the Maryland stall, which your foot that is kicking up is going to land back first in a flat all four wheels on the transition. Then you put the other foot down with all the wheels on the transition. You will be staggered, bending your knees, rolling out of it. The last trick that we are going to teach you today is how to two-footed jump on the transition. When you're doing a two-footed jump, it's important to recognize that a two-footed jump on the transition is different than a two-footed jump on the flat ground. And the reason why that is, is because you're approaching not flat ground. <laughs> and so you're gonna need to land in a different way. And the difference is that you are going to need to make sure that you're landing in that stagger. You need to make sure that you're landing with those knees bent because you cannot get away with landing with your knees straight on a transition, you will fall. So you want to approach the transition with your pump. You are going to, coming from your pump, you're going to have your legs staggered, your knees bent, and when you get to zero gravity or the highest part of your pump, you are going to launch, you're going to pick up your legs, you're gonna land back on the transition with your legs staggered with all eight wheels on the transition and with your knees bent and you will roll back out of it. And as time goes on, you'll lift your knees higher and higher and you'll be able to get that jump even higher. Thanks for watching this episode of Queer Girl Straight Skates. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do all these basic tricks on the ramp. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow Shove on Instagram at Fat Girl Has Moxie, and you can use Shove's code on MoxieSkates.com, which is what? Code Shove. Code Shove, <laughs> S H O V E, and you can buy her artwork where? On Etsy. On Etsy. And I'll put the <laughs> link below. You have a bunch of really cool stickers and... And art prints. Art prints. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to support me, you can become a Patreon and, or you can buy some of my stickers off Etsy. And most importantly... Cheers, cheers to, to the coolest. <laughs> I love you. You're cool. Love you too, babe. <laughs> <laughs>